All right, everybody. So with the wrap up to the seasonal quest dropping today, we also got the master mode challenge for the daughter's encounter inside of King's Fall, with that being none other than the under construction challenge. For this challenge, I've heard a lot of different ways on what you have to do. I've heard that you have to basically not step on the same plate once you stepped on it once before during a sequence of getting all of the brand claimer pieces. But I can tell you for a fact that that is not true because for our run, we didn't have any rotating, okay? We literally just had our, our two floaters. We had, you know, four people assigned to a plate. I was chilling on L1. As long as you don't let the plates fade from existence, you should be good to go when completing this challenge. As long as you don't see that little message at the bottom left hand corner of your screen let's say the plates fade from existence before you actually claim the piece of the brand claimer you should be good to go i guess a good little rule of thumb for this is trying to have at least two people on a plate you know especially in some situations where you're gonna have a guy finishing the barrier night on the plate with their aeons sometimes that finisher can actually you know animation them off of the plate and it'll fade from existence and then you'll lose the challenge so just be a little bit wary of that and really for the most part as long as you just do the encounter normally and just never let the plates fade away from existence you should be good to go this encounter can definitely be a little bit annoying on master mode ever since the rocket nerf or rocket fix however you want to word it where they basically made the sisters take less damage from rockets it can be a little bit annoying with linears obviously dealing with all the flinch and at least for us on master mode it is a two phase for each daughter so a total of four with that being said though i still think this challenge is definitely easier than the war priest one that we had a couple weeks ago now that one's definitely the hardest for all the challenges inside of king's fall for sure let me know your thoughts and opinions on this challenge down below and as as well as your strategy or damage strategy if you're using something that's not linear i'm just kind of curious if there's some other new damage strat for this that is not linear related right make sure to like and subscribe and here's the rest of our run of the challenge on master mode the hunter's grief Alright. Alright, L1. L1. Ah, damn it. I'm torn. L1's torn. L yes, L1. Going L1, going L1. Holy shit. Ouch. Snipers. Off. Off. R2. Going to R1. Golden the check. Yep, here I'm good to go. L1. L1. Okay. L1. We're two. R1, R1. R1, R1. I thought he said R2, not where to. I was very confused there for a second. Oh well, do not well. Communication is great, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Reloading div, also gonna be out of div. Yep, out of div. Alright, just shoot the bad aim. Fuck. Are uh, going to R1. Take it, I'm torn. It. Please stop body blocking me. Off. R2 again. Jesus. R L2? 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 L1. L1. R2, R2. 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 Got it. Oh well. I extended your radiant. Um, on top of someone's head. There we go. Yeah. 
they have to remove it. Yeah, watch out for the wipe. L1, L1. Oh. I'm torn, L1's torn, L1. L1's starter. For two? R1, R1. R1, R1 you yep. You got this cat. I got it. Off. R2 or R1? Jesus. R1. 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 R2. Yep, I'm on R2. Snipes. Stop pushing me, please. Push him. Push him. Push him more? Push him more? Okay. I think I got concerned for a second. Just for a split second. <laughs> 